Libra, hello, my darlings. Welcome to your weekly reading, a new version of the weekly reading, keeping it very short and simple with some key messages for you. We're going to start with a key word from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. If this reading resonates with you, that is the word for you for this week or whenever you're guided to see this reading. Readings are timeless. Then we're going to look at the key message that goes with this key word, and that is from my Veritas Oracle deck. And then further to that, we shall be looking at key spiritual advice for you from the Angel Messages Tarot. So let's start. This reading is for those that most need to hear it. And if it resonates with you, my darling, you are hearing it within your divine design. So thank you for Libra, for those that most need to hear this message. What is the key word for, for this week or for whenever anyone is guided to see this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Key word for Libra. Patience. I can hear you groan. Patience, patience, patience. You know, one of the first things that we're guided to remember as natural source energy, life force energy is patience, to have trust and faith in the natural, the natural, think about it, the natural order of things. We have patience with nature all the time, but we do not have patience with ourselves and where we are and what we're desiring and how quickly it's coming in. And you know, the world society has taught us to be impatient. We've taught ourselves to be impatient. Everything is almost instantaneous now, isn't it? In terms of, of results of things, you know, we order off certain websites, we receive it the next day. Uh, we go into a shop, it's there right there for us. Everything has got faster and faster and faster, but the natural order of things hasn't. And that natural order of things is what creates harmony in our life. So patience, I'm getting the words, patience is a virtue. Um, I'm going to come back to this card, but first of all, I'm going to pull for you uh, from my uh, Veritas Oracle, which you can purchase online at veritastarot.com. The link's in the description box. I'm going to pull for you a card to go with the pick. Oh, my goodness. There we go. That definitely wanted to come out. We have attention has come out for you along with the patience card. So. This is the heron and it's flying towards this attention card here. So this is to say, what are you presently attending to? Where attention goes, energy flows. Focus on productive thoughts, words and actions as you are nurturing them for your future. And you can see here this lovely sort of little Christopher Robin character is feeding the chickens who are all happy hens and are feeding the chickens, which represents rebirth, growth at this time. Um, we are all energy under the guise of being a human being, and we may consider ourselves to be a singular self, but actually, you know, we're not separate from everything. We are part of everything that we may consider externally. And so in terms of energy, you think of resonance, vibration, frequency. And with the law of vibration, every particle in the universe is in constant, constant sort of movement with its own specific energetic frequency. So therefore, our emotions are our, our energy emotions. So where attention goes, energy flows. So the universe is asking, whilst you are being guided to be patient at this time, where is your attention going? Is it focusing on productive thoughts and words and actions, creating their own energetic higher vibrational frequency? What is that attracting? Or is it focused more on destructive thoughts, words and actions? Our mind, our extraordinary, beautiful, fragile, powerful mind creates or contorts our energy with the way that we're thinking. We can't stop ourselves thinking because that's impossible, but we are, it is possible, I am possible, impossible, I am possible to shift the focus of our thoughts when we catch ourselves going down that kind of rabbit warren. So at this moment in time, spirit is asking you in your either impatience or patience, to remain vig remain vigilant, thank you, Spirit, about the consistency of your thoughts at this time and 
to understand that this person here with her little teddy bear here in the corner, the little bunny rabbit, which just says, you know, take comfort in the fact that although it may not be obvious yet, there are signs that you are preparing for that which you desire. You know, the chickens um, are laying their eggs all the time. And in the nurturing of yourself, in the nurturing of your focus, you are encouraging production of, like the chicken produces the egg, the production of a rebirth of energy, of a change in energy. So that is uh, the patient's card with that. The other thing with that is there is a structure to all of this. You see with the fence here as well. And if we if we were to, and I always, you know, with the chickens here, in fact, I'm going to read the back of this card for mine because it's the best way of saying it. Okay, so however, allow whatever you give such nurturing and careful attention to the freedom to naturally grow, okay? The freedom, having patience in the na in the nas national, in the natural cycle. The freedom to naturally grow, mature and multiply, to be free range and not forced to yield early. Like the mother hen, be content and patient in waiting for eggs to hatch. Let them live by emerging naturally. Also, in the same way that the hen chirps to her eggs, who chirp back within the shells, be chirpy with what is not yet seen but felt in your vibration. It will respond positively. Then you will be similar to happy hens who, happy hens, have a pleasing, peaceful yield, having essential nurturing skills. Now, you have those essential nurturing skills, but it's about consistently and diligently applying them now to positive focus, affirmations, trust, faith, and acting as if it's already happened. That's the message for you. Be chirpy. Be chirpy at this time. Because you're not being made to wait just because. You're not being made to wait as a punishment. There is divinity. There are blessings. There is grace within this patient time. There is a necessity for it. That is the message for you. And when you do receive what you already are, my darling, what's already evolving for you, you will understand why it happened the way it has happened. So let's just pull one card for you from the guardian angel messages. Thank you, spirit. Oh, I saw the death card and release, which is a lovely message there. Thank you, spirit. One card, please for patience and attention. There we go, strength. And there's the release card. I am gonna mention that. Release card, the death card, endings, transformation and freedom. Your overriding energy is having come up and away from something that um, happened in your life, whether it was working in a way that burnt you out or whether it was from a uh, an environment that was uncomfortable, a relationship that was tearing you apart, something that, because you've got both strength and release. And what Spirit is saying is that it took, and it takes great courage and strength at this time to rise up and away from something, to focus on peace for yourself, to be patient, to be patient whilst this is evolving. Look at this strength card. She is connected here to the trees, which is about everything is connected and that there is support for you at this time. This is about quietening the ego's fears. Goodness, our mind with its fears sometimes. And that you're making powerful movements forward to walk away from things that just are not serving you anymore because the lesson is being learned or has been learned from it. And it gets takes great strength as well to have the power of your convictions, to do something that goes against 
what we might have been told or taught ourselves or feel or desire, but to do something that's right for yourself. So um, release and strength, 11 and 13, persevere with this, persevere and be patient, have compassion for yourself at this time, have compassion for others because the divinity is within all of us and within each of us, we are the greatest teachers for others when we look to see the lesson. Courage means approaching something wholeheartedly, core for the Latin for heart. So this is an affirmation of you doing something wholeheartedly, which means you're doing it with love for yourself, with self-love for yourself. And be, coming back to the chicken and the egg, be chirpy, um, talk to the future in a way that is loving, in a way that is nurturing, in a way that you know it's coming. Make that be your um, attention. Because where you are focusing, my darling, the energy is going. And I really feel coming back to this card with the patient's card as well, is to say with the fog here, Things are not as they seem. You're not going to go, it's not like, though you may not be able to see at the moment, you're going to be, you're going to go through this slowly and be quiet, be still, and just don't, don't rush into any decisions at this time. Just patiently wait for the universe to show you the next steps. And in the meantime, Think about what you are presently giving your attention to and make sure that it is nurturing, nurturing for yourself first and foremost, uh, and nurturing happy thoughts like happy hens. Mm -hmm. And that will create a positive yield. You will get results quite quickly of a reminder for you how powerful your energy is and what the universe is responding and showing to you as a reflection of your peaceful presence and patient presence at this point in time. I trust that makes sense. So much love to you. And I look forward to doing another reading for you next week. Take care, my darlings. Lots of love. Bye-bye.